by the time you were two and a half, three and a half, most of your program was already written. You developed a belief about the world. You developed a set of a be core belief around what you could expect from the world. Core belief about what the world expected from you. And a core belief about who you were. These are very basic, solid beliefs. Um, I'm not good enough. I can only expect the world to do something for me after I've given it ten times what I expect back. You know, the world will, you know, is going to treat me this way, and this is the nature of the world. It's, it's, a, it's a harsh and cruel world. They are almost that simple. But then you take these beliefs into school, you take them into different areas of life, and then what happens is we start building our daily belief systems. You want to be learning to identify these core beliefs down here, and then that starts making all kinds of little changes in your life. Still not sufficient. You must be building a new set of beliefs and a new matrix on top of these. And this requires concerted effort. If you think how many hours an Olympic athlete practices to win the Olympics, Phelps, he practices seven days a week when other people practice six. He knew that he was up against the toughest people in the world, and he knew that his edge was going to come from practicing more than they did. And that's how you do it. You, he's, he's, you, and he knew he was also practicing in more events. You're learning how to contextualize your life as the event. You're learning to contextualize your relationships, your work, your relationship to yourself. Every day of your life, when you do this assignment way of living, you're learning to live the adventure of life towards your greatest potential.